What's up guys? I'm Coach Sean and I'm here to show you how to take your favorite recipes and make them just a little bit healthier. Today we're doing some Traeger smoked salmon and we're gonna do this meal prep style. So everything we do from how we prepare it before we brine it to how we freeze it at the end is gonna be done with our meal prep in mind. You're not gonna wanna miss it. This is Coach Sean's Kitchen. Let's not waste any time, let's dive right into this recipe. So the recipe we're using today is based off of the one on Traeger's website for a vodka brined smoked salmon. So we're gonna end up brining our salmon in a gallon bag. So into that gallon bag, we're gonna add some kosher salt, some monk fruit sweetener, my favorite sugar substitute, but feel free to use whatever sweetener you like, a crap ton of freshly ground black pepper, and then we're gonna measure out some vodka. I'm using Costco's Kirkland brand vodka, and it's $15 for a handle. And it's also really good tasting, you know, for other things. Seal up the bag, mix it by hand, and then set it aside, and we're gonna prepare our salmon. So here, I've got a beautiful filet from Costco. This is their Farms Atlantic Salmon, the Norwegian kind. I try to pick this one out because I think it tastes a little bit better. As far as preparing this salmon, I'm gonna cut it into as many four to six ounce portions as I can. And any of the trimmings, I'm gonna turn that into maybe a salmon poke bowl or I'll just throw them into the air fryer. Once all that is done, I'm gonna put all of those salmon pieces into my bag. I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm gonna park it in my fridge for two to four hours. I'll flip it about every 30 minutes, but I'm just incredibly anal. Just ensure that you flip it at least once. After your salmon is done brining, take it over to your sink and you're gonna wanna drain off that brine and also rinse the salmon off of any excess salt and pepper that's on the outside. Then you're gonna wanna pat it dry before you head out to your Traeger. I like to set mine on top of paper towels to really help speed up this process. Now let's head out to our smoker and get these things going. I've got my Traeger full of alder wood today, but any light mild wood is gonna go great with fish. And I've got it set to the smoke setting. Now if you're using a different pellet grill, Traeger's smoke setting sets at just about 180. So try to hold your smoker to a lower temperature than that. Anytime I'm putting fish on my Traeger, I'm spraying the grate and then I'm gonna lay these guys on. They're gonna sit here for 45 minutes on that smoke setting. Now that it's been 45 minutes, you can see that our fish is starting to firm up. Now I'm gonna go to bump my temperature up to 225 degrees. This is gonna help speed up the cooking process. I've tried holding 180 the entire time and I thought my fish ended up way too dry. But as always, feel free to experiment to figure out what you like. Now the big thing I'm looking here for doneness is temperature and I want it to finish right at about 145. Now since I pre-portioned these salmon pieces, I'm expecting it's gonna cook a little bit faster than how fast Traeger's website says it will. So mine actually shot right above 145 after an hour, so I suggest you check your salmon after 30 minutes and then probably every 15 minutes thereafter. Now something I've learned about smoked salmon is that that smokiness is gonna to continue to develop long after you take it off the Traeger and well into the next day once it cools down completely in your fridge. So while a warm smoked salmon is good, I think it's gonna to continue to develop and taste better the next few days. How did the smoked salmon turn out? It was wonderful. Light on the smokiness, the fish is incredibly flaky, and just in case you're wondering, no, it's not overly salty, no, I don't taste any of the vodka. Now, is this the best smoked salmon I've ever made? No, that's gonna have to go to the dry brine that sits in my fridge for seven to 10 days. But as far as a quick way to brine and smoke salmon and get it all done in one day, this Traeger vodka recipe is phenomenal. Now, if you're going the meal prep route, I highly suggest that you let your salmon portions cool down completely before you attempt to freeze them. Once you had all your pieces vacuum sealed, I like to keep only two in the fridge and the other two are gonna go into the freezer. I find this is the perfect partition between fridge and freezer that keeps all of my salmon at the peak freshness. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you willing to try some smoked salmon out on your Traeger? And let me know what recipes you guys wanna see next. Hey, if you enjoyed this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video on social media. It's the single best thing you can do for any YouTube channel you enjoy watching. I wanna thank you for tuning into this episode of Coach Sean's Kitchen, and as always, you can make anything homemade and healthy.